right, well, people are still continuing to join, but let's go ahead and just get started with some intros to the evening and then um, make sure that we're getting to our breakouts on time. So welcome everyone to the Washington County Recovery Forum. Um, really appreciate you taking the time to be on the call. I am Jenna Koloski. I'm the Community and Policy Manager with the Vermont Council on Rural Development. Um, usually I, I'm doing this in partnership with our executive director, Paul Costello, who was very sad to miss out on the Washington County conversation, but he's taking some much needed time away this week. Um, but uh, I just wanna give a quick intro in this opening session and we'll hear from um, Josh, the Commissioner of Housing and Community Development as well. Um, and uh, and then head off into our breakout group. There's some echoing. I just want to find real quick. Margaret, could you find where? Okay. Um, so uh, basically, the Vermont Council on Rural Development is a neutral convener of public process. Um, many of you we've had the opportunity to work with before. Um, in normal times, we typically are going community to community. We facilitate community conversations to help communities decide what's important to them, to choose priorities, um, to build action plans and connect to resources. And uh, as you can imagine, that person to person work in communities shifted pretty quickly um, when the, the pandemic hit. Um, but we've been really lucky since then to be able to continue, even in a virtual format, continue to connect with Vermonters around the state um, through um, various different convenings online through these county to county recovery forums um, and through our connection um, to the governor's local solutions and community action team, which Paul Costello um, has been chairing. And so uh, before I get into the details of this evening, I want to um, invite Josh Hanford, who is the commissioner of the Department of Housing and Community Development and also the state liaison to this, um, to the governor's action team to just um, quickly frame up uh, the action team's work and, and why we're here tonight. Great, thank you, Jenna. Um, yeah, welcome to the Washington County Recovery Forum. You know, thanks for coming out and participating. And as Jenna said, I'm, I'm sort of filling in for Paul, which is an impossible task, um, but I am have served as the, the state liaison for this um, action team. And this is one of uh, three action teams that the governor established under the larger um, economic uh, recovery task force. There was three uh, teams stood up um, to sort of respond to the pandemic in real time, make recommendation to the governor and others. Um, and I'll just quickly give some folks some background that, that don't know about those action teams. Um, one of them was to look at restarting businesses that were shut down. So, you know, as folks know, you know, in March, we sort of had a, a quick halt to most of work out there. Most businesses, we were in a position of shutting them down, which is very different for an agency of commerce and community development. And the governor um, saw the value in bringing different industry leaders together with uh, Ted Brady, um, the deputy secretary the, uh, of the agency. Uh, cucumbers and shit. To, to establish a um, restart task force um, to look at how to orderly open businesses back up and, and work with the industry leaders to uh, make safe, uh, safe reopening guidance. And so that um, task force is essentially um, finished its work, you know, um, we're in a position right now where most businesses are operating at 50% and many are, are, are back to full time. The other action team was for financial support. It was really to make recommendations to the governor to help um, guide what sort of financial incentives and use of the um, Corona relief funding from Washington would have the best uh, impact in, in, in restarting the economy, um, what were the best strategies there? And, and much of that work has also um, ended with that action team. Where this third action team, local support and community action, had, had a much different um, and, and longer uh, task and goal. And it was really to make sure we were hearing from sort of underrepresented Vermonters, um, folks that maybe aren't always heard that, um, you know, maybe aren't connected to, to Montpelier or, um, the different organizations that, that carry out a lot of this work. So that was a goal, um, as well as bringing back to the local communities and discussing with them 
their needs for recovery, their experiences with recovery, um, sharing best practices, and, and really learning from one another. And so that's what this action team is, is, is still doing. Um, there was an interim report to the governor um, after the first month or two that sort of laid out some broad uh, recommendations for you know, broadband and childcare and, and housing goals to end family homelessness and a whole bunch of other recommendations that we learned from reaching out to um, the community through surveys and, and other groups. Um, and, and this community forum is really part of that work, ongoing work. As Jenna mentioned, we've been um, carrying out, you know, one every week or two, um, all the counties in Vermont, and really have to give a big thanks to the local sort of um, leaders that are setting up um, the topics for these meetings and spreading the word and really helping us have a, a robust dialogue here. So um, we're going to get started in a little bit, and, and Jenna's going to give um, sort of the the game plan for how, how this is done. Um, I just want to say that, you know, I, I think we all wish we could be together in person and do this. Um, you know, that's really a, a way to have a healthy discussion. But we found these virtual forums to be um, working pretty well and allowing folks that actually can't drive to a night meeting from somewhere or, you know, needing childcare or, or other limitations, um, having a chance to participate. So we really, you know, uh, in one way, are thankful for that opportunity to really allow folks um, that maybe couldn't participate to participate in these virtual sessions. Um, they've proven valuable. Um, we also want to uh, thank, before we get into it, the, the, the facilitators. They have a tough job. I'm just sort of drawing out um, uh, the discussion that we're going to enter here in a few minutes. Um, and lastly, I just want to really thank um, uh, the experts that have joined us too. The, um, visiting team experts, as well as all the staff at um, the Council of Rural Development, Jenna and Margaret and, and um, Nick, um, as well as my staff that's that's been helping with all of these two um, from the Community Planning and Revitalization um, Division. You know, one thing about these virtual sessions is they take a lot of people to sort of organize and the technology be be behind the scenes. So um, big shout out to, to all the folks. Um, so, Jenna, yeah. <laughs> fill in what I missed and what I didn't do uh, <laughs> justice for Paul, so please. No, that's great. Thanks, Josh. I appreciate it. And um, and yeah, I, I think that's absolutely right. You know, this evening is all about hearing from all of you, um, you know, uh, the governor's action team and the and VCRD. We're not here to um, tell you what should be done in Washington County. We're not here to redesign or implement any sort of strategic plan. We know that you have leaders like um, Bonnie and, and Jamie Stewart and folks that are leading on on that planning in the region. Um, so tonight is really to just brainstorm together around um, what's happening today, ideas for the future, and any challenges and needs that are still going unmet in the region. Um, and also hopefully to connect the resources to support the work that, that's going on. So you'll see on the screen here, um, as Josh mentioned, a list of our um, excellent visiting team that's here to listen. Um, they'll be broken up into each forum um, to listen in, share some insight into what's going on in other regions, um, and also to reflect at towards the end of the breakout forums um, to, to share some resources and thoughts and advice. Um, so really quickly, uh, Margaret, if you wanna scroll down to the agenda for the evening, uh, just gonna walk through um, in a moment here uh, we're going to break out into the four separate forum topics. Um, Nick, wh why don't I hand it over to you to just walk through the structure and quickly walk through the structure and then give us some advice on how to break out into those separate meetings. Sure, yeah, thanks Jenna. Um, and hi everyone, uh, Nick Kramer, also staff at VCRD. So hopefully this will be relatively painless. We've done this a couple times. It seems to work um, fairly easily. Obviously, as Josh said, it would be great if we could all just stand up from our chairs and go into the next room for these breakout sessions. Um, what we've found to work instead is um, if, so we're, we're in a couple minutes here, we're gonna break out into four sessions, arts, entertainment, community, unity and health, housing and homelessness, and rethinking employment, supporting business recovery. So you're, you're able to choose between those, whichever topic seems most interesting to you, 
we encourage you to join. Um, you don't have to go to the one that you registered for. The, the way to get there, I think if Jenna or Margaret will...